interesting. It'll be... uh, kia ora koutou. Uh, Sophie Hoskins here. Uh, Eons Kayarahi. We are into Kupumari and Te Taiao number two with um, Amorangi Apapa. I'm going to hand it over him to start us off. Kia ora. <laughs> Tēnā koe, Sophie. Uh, kia ora tātou katoa. Uh, I te timatanga o tēnei hui. Ka karaki a tātou. Uh, engari kia whakamōhio kia koutou hea te kaupapa o te, o te Zoom, nei. Um, so kia ora, everyone. Again, my name is Amorangi. Um, as I mentioned to some of you, I come from Matakana. Uh, Tauranga Moana, Pirirākau. Those are my areas that I descend from. And Okawea as well. Uh, today is our, as Sophie said, our kupu tuarua uh, and the taiao, and this is just what we're going to cover uh, today as well. So just give it a quick read. So we'll share some kupu uh, that you can use with your tawira and the taiao, um, just on a little nature walk, a little bush walk, a bit of off track uh, navigation, and some more names for our um, features, our features that we find in our taiao. So our ranges, our peaks, and our tracks, etc. Sweet so You're muted. Thanks for that. I was just going to say kia ora amorangi. Uh, we're just going to start off with a recap of last week because that's going to link into this week. So um, here we go. Me. Uh, so we'll have a little quick karakia and then we'll get, get into what we are going to get into. Me nui tātou. Tēnei au, tēnei au, tēnei au te hōkai nei, taku tapu ai, ko te hōkai nuku, ko te hōkai rangi, ko te hōkai ato tūpuna, a tāne nui a rangi, i peke te ai ki te rangi tū hāhā ki te tihi manono, i roko hina atu rā kui o matua kore ana ke, i riru ui hoa inga kete o te wānanga, ko te kete tua uri, ko te kete aronui, ko te kete tua tia, ka tiri tiri a ka pau pau wā, ka papa tua nuku, ka puta te ira tangata ki te whai au ki te au mārama, tihei mauri ora. Ah, ka pai, so let's hear, let's crack into it, eh? let's get into this. Mean. So our first slide that we have is just our, I guess, bearings. So Raki North, Rafati East, Tonga South, Uru West. Classic, just four of them. Um, jump onto that next one, so is what I actually want to kind of get into. So we have our um, our directions that you can use in a tayo if you're going off track and, and you've got your compass in your map. So um, just for your tawira there, just haere ki. So this will be you speaking to your, your tawira. Haere ki, go towards either Raki, uh, Rafati, Tonga, or Uru. So, north, east, south, or west. And these are just our fill ins that we have Tonga, Ma Uru, southwest, Tonga, Ma Rafati, southeast, Raki, Ma Rafati, northeast, Raki, Ma Uru, northwest. And hopefully, we're all pros at these because we've practiced them from uh, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> next one that we we covered. Uh, and then our, our next one. Yeah, exactly. And then our next one is um, Pai Maunga. Uh, mountain range, Maunga, mountain, uh, that's a classic one. Hiwi or Taupai, ridge, Tihi Peak, Ara Track, and Rako, tree, stick, or plant. So that's the same thing with um, Haereki, Haereki te Pai Maunga, the, the, the mountain range, Haereki te Maunga, uh, the mountain, Haereki te Hiwi or Taupai, Tihi Ara, um, mm. yeah, those can all fit into that context as well. And then Awa, these are just recaps. Awa, uh, River, Moana, Ocean, Rotola Lake. Ko Awa, Ko Awa, Awa, Gali, Manga, and Purua Tanga. So you have the English translations on the side there too. And then our next one, getting into the weather we covered. Yeah, then the weather, Hukarere, um, Hukupapa, Hukarere. These are all available too uh, on the website as well. So as we cover these, you can always come back to them and these recordings um, for pronunciation and things. But huka papa, huka reire, ua, kapua, and ho winds. Clouds. Kapua. So clouds, okewa, uh, pi, 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 pi. Again, these all have, uh, depending on the iwi, uh, the rohe that you're in, the names will, will probably differ um, because they are reading their own tohu and their taiao. And then that tohu no taio might mean something a little bit different as well, um, pertaining to the whenua and, and your, on your plants and, and the waters. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. So, okewa, uh, pipipi, putahi, uh, papuia, iorangi, 
te tatau o te kahu and te tatau te tatau a te tatua o te kahu maku te. And, and then into the asking what we just, yeah, yeah, fully. Um, and then just asking for your in in that space. Uh, so you're asking your tauira. Uh, for example. Oh, actually, we'll start there. So our TNA, TNA, and TNA, those are our um, locations. So TNA is usually uh, right in your hand. So this is TNA. Uh, TNA will just be over there, just out of reach. And then TNA is, 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 is way over there. Uh, so, for example, you could ask your tawira, he aha TNA rāko. Say you're holding um, a stick of a rimu or, or a kawakawa uh, rau or some leaves. Uh, and that's how you would ask your tawira what that is. If you're on the track looking at a specific tree or, or a ridge or what we've talked about, clouds, um, you can ask, Kia ha tēnā kapua. So what is that cloud? What is that cloud there? Um, and then Kia ha tērā is, is way, way further away from, from where you are. Um, but those things that we just talked about earlier can all fit into into this here, the structure here. So just trying to encourage uh, more use of te reo Māori in, in, in our pile, and this is one of the ways that we can do it. Done. Thank you, Amorangi. And moving on to our next slide, which matches right up to this one. So this is just the response. Yeah, just the responses um, from your from your tawira. So this can be used as a teaching resource, um, just as little props in, in the pile. So you'll be asking, he aha te nei or say I'm holding a yeah kawa kawa, and then your their response will be because you've got it, he kawa kawa tēnā. he kawa kawa tēnā. Um, and then if it's in their grass and they're asking you, but tēnā again is in your grass, tēnā is just just out of reach over there, and then um, tērā is, is further away, so that's the response. He da 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 tēnā. If they're holding on to it, but if they're holding on to it all, yeah. I guess TNA can be used in 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 context in context as well as TNA, so they're almost interchangeable. Um, but TNA is, is not necessarily the correct way to do it, but it's a it's a valid response. Awesome. So I hope we're all talking what too fast you... for um <laughs> for anyone. Just let us just let me know and slow it down a bit. The beauty of recording is we can uh, stop it and pause Go it back and rewind. To it. Yeah. yeah. So exactly. great, great exactly. examples of how we can um, use all those words we covered last week and put them into a bit of a, a context and mm. maybe, yeah, bring in a bit more te reo into our classrooms and challenge ourselves and um, some of our tawira to speak it more within our outdoor education classes. Um, so it's just a, a little something we can practice. And then um, we're just going to move on to... Um, the very last um, card that Amorangi had on that document on our EONS website, and um, it's looking at how we can acknowledge um, Maunga and Awa that we connect to as um, Tauiwi or Pakia. So I'll pass that on to Amorangi to talk about a little bit more. Cool. Are we on slide 11 at the moment? So... Oh, sorry. No, I missed one slide. Okay. Yeah, so this oh. number 10. So Pet. Pehia te tapiti is just how long will it take? And then tēnei, tēnā, tērā. Tēnei could be, um, you, ha you have it in a map. Um, so you're holding it, you're showing a student on your map, they're looking over your shoulder. And then you'll ask, Pehia te tapiti ki tēnei maunga. See my fingers pointing pointing at where it is. Um, and yeah, that's just how you can use that. But if, also if you're looking at something, so if I've got my maunga back here, and then I could ask, Pehia te tapiti ki to that mountain range, to that range there. Um, but yeah, that's that's how they could be used in, in the pile in that space uh, with, with your tawira. And yeah, there that... we, we'll jump into some, jump into our next one. Uh, so our number 11. So this is our, um, yeah, just ask, ask some part thai if, if you want some more clarity on what we covered so far. I know I'm moving a little bit fast, but I'm just weary of, of time. Uh, but this one is a structure for a pepeha. A pepeha, if you are tauiwi, um, pākeha, or just feel more comfortable associating with this this one. Uh, this was given to me by Marin Hagen. He's uh, uh, a lecturer at Wintik uh, Rutukauri. 
and a staunch supporter of the Kingi Tanga, and, and this is one of the, the ones he, he shared with his Tawira too. Um, so, Te, if you, so, ko dararat, ko mauau te maunga, e whakaora iau. Uh, mauau is the mountain that gives me life. So it's just more of a, I guess, better way to explain your connection to, or your hononga to a natural feature that you identify with, um, be it your maunga, be it your waters, that, that you, yeah, just have the most, you resonate with, with a particular area. And this is speaking to that, to that feature or to that maunga, to, the, to those waters in a way that you're not showing position, hence the, the te. Uh, te maunga instead of toku or taku. Uh, those words, toku especially shows position of a, of a thing. Um, and from my own experience, um, toku is, is, is used more often than not by Māori to show because the whakapapa that we have also connects us not only to our tupuna, but to the waters, to the mountain, and uh, to our waka that, that brought us here as well. So that's just the difference in using te versus toku. Um, just position really, and then those kupu, and it's just the 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 words that show what you're implying. So te is a, is a really neutral way of of, of going about it. Uh, and then the next one is ko te awa, so river, moana, oceans, or large body of water, uh, roto, lake, um, manga, and all those other things we covered, and 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 what we've already talked about can fit into here as well to best describe what you're talking about. Uh, ko, ko te ko manga pi ko te awa e mahia ngā maharara. Um, bit of a tongue twister, but <laughs> it's a little bit of a good, a good, it's a good whittle, it's a good whittle, it's a good challenge. Um, is the river, ocean, large body of water, lake that alleviates my worries. And then moving on to the next one is talking about where your tupuna are from, so where your whakapapa goes back to. So, no, uh, I'm part French through my father's line, so no, we we oku tupuna, my ancestors are from that place of, of France or in that area. Uh, I grew up in uh, Okawia. So I grew up in Okawia where I'm at currently um, on some pretty dodgy Wi Fi, but it's working out, I guess. Um, but yeah, so this is just a safe, in, in my Fukaro, this is a safe way to present yourself in those spaces um, when Pepeha is, is being shared. Um, and it covers it covers a lot of the spaces that you, you talk about in a Pepeha. Um, but also there's more to add. And that's one thing I want to touch on too, that these are a good um, starting point for your journey into te reo or understanding more te ao Māori or te reo Māori, um, but this isn't the finish. So it's really up to you to take this baseline, I guess, um, and just extend on it further, extend on it further in, in your own means, in your own ways, but with te reo um, being the focal point. Kia ora. And I'll just um, add in there, Amorangi, that um, one of the core unit standards under outdoor management at level one um, in the outdoor recreation domain, it does have a question around PPR. And so um, if you or your students aren't so confident with that um, aspect of that question, then this is a good place as well to start with them. Um, and, and we would like to um, have another session kind of focusing a little bit more <laughs> um, next week. So I'll just um, go on to our next slide. Here we go. Do you want to talk to this one, so? Oh, yeah, so this this is just how I've been um, saying uh, maunga and awa in my pipiha and acknowledging the maunga from where I um, grew up and the awa from where I grew up. So it's just a, another way of um, acknowledging uh, the maunga and the awa without actually claiming that it's mine because I don't fuck a papa Māori. So um, somebody shared this with me and um, I thought, yeah, I quite like just being able to acknowledge um, without claiming. And I didn't actually realise that for a while and I used to just, you know, got taught in school with my pipiha, da-da-da-da, you know, tōku, uh, putawaki. And then I realised, oh, toku, probably not the word for Pākehā, because uh, I don't fuck Papa Māori. And um, then I got really, like, you know, unconfident in saying my Pākehā, so I just didn't say it. And then I um, kind of figured out the better way to, to do it and have been uh, doing it like this. And I'll pass it on to you, Amorangi. <laughs> Good point. 
Uh, yes, yeah, so all we just covered there today um, was just our kupu and the payao cards, how to use um, some real in, in those spaces as well, um, and the responses for that in, in responding into real. So it's just, I guess, we're creating these scaffolds around um, using more real, more real in the payao. So just scaffolding with these little kupu that we can use and slowly introducing a, a bit more to deal and a bit more of that um yeah cultural cultural uh knowledge or or not necessarily that but more to deal, to deal Maori I think is, is the main point that we're trying to get across to use in, in our classrooms. Uh part thai, perhaps. Yeah, if anybody's got any questions, um I'm going to stop the recording there.